in this film, the funny is the story. The funny is the ensemble. Can I sit here? Yes, of course, sir. He's at the blackjack table where he has his first encounter with the guys. He has to play the Vegas douchebag. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, sorry. Are you kidding me? Dude, Look, he did that on purpose. Comes to Vegas, he thinks he's everything, he's important. Thank you guys for killing a really, really hot table. There's part of him that's Jersey Shore wannabe, part of him that's LA hipster. How much do I have left? 102,000, sir. Okay. I'm done. Dan Fogelman wrote this character of the Vegas VIP host. He's a bit of a snob. He's used to taking care of the Prince of Saudi Arabia. He's used to taking care of Kanye. If Lady Gaga comes into town, Lonnie's the dude. And he gets saddled with these four old schleppers. I believe who I was supposed to be hosting this weekend. Who? Fitty. Be Fitty? 50 Cent. Curtis Jackson. Oh, for the Jackson 5. Yeah. Sure. Bring out the bottles! Hey, buddy, maybe you had too much to drink, huh? If I want your opinion, I'll just beat it at you. Just as I'm about to get a little physical, Mr. De Niro comes from out of nowhere. In that situation, I was more than happy to get an ass whipping from Mr. De Niro. And I'm walking around town with a moment in movie history that not many people have. Damn, fellas, that Patty's a beast. Lonnie informs me. I was just downloading Dean on who you guys were. He didn't know that you were the heads of four very influential East Coast families. These are four OG gangsters. You know who these guys are? Archie Aces, Billy Bones, Sammy the... The, the accountant. Yeah, the accountant. Oh. Sammy the stove, huh? they call me. I cook the books. Which leads me working for the guys for the whole weekend. This clan decides that they're gonna throw this huge bachelor party. I want the A-list, the double D-list. That is the A-list, actually. As the word spreads, the turnout is amazing. Hey, Lonnie, we got a situation. Lonnie. I actually got a call from De Niro, and he said he wanted to make sure the coolest person was involved in it. Somebody from music culture that was hip, that's so he put me. You think you can get them to turn the music down? It's a private party. 